So I'm sure, like, especially back in those early days, now not so much, um, you pr were probably asked a lot, like, why didn't you just go and work on Play on Linux? Or why are you making your own thing when Play on Linux is around? Or anything like that. Like, so, yeah. why um, why not get it? Why did you get involved with it back then? I, could, I considered, like, contributing to Play on Linux mm -hmm. for, uh, like, you know, for a moment, uh, I did, and the reasons why I um, didn't follow to that is that first, play, uh, play on Linux is geared toward uh, Windows games only. Mm -hmm. I mean, at least it was the case back then. Now I, I know that they have also have support for uh, DOS games and Scum VM games, uh, but I, it was really important for me uh, at the time that we also supported like native games and also emulators and all that stuff. Mm -hmm. uh, the second aspect was that we were uh, like Play on Linux was using uh, the WX widgets toolkits, mm -hmm. which I didn't really know about, uh, didn't really want to get into it. And also, it's re it worked by do is doing like a combination of Python and Bash, where mm. like every Play on Linux window would be its own Python program, and you would have like Bash scripts linking those together. Okay. And I was like, that's a kind of weird way to do things. Uh -huh. And I'm not sure if I'm not installed on this like kind of architecture. So I'd rather do something like uh, on my own that's like not linked to uh, and and you know it's open source. So if anything, um, if there's anything in Play on Linux that I need, mm -hmm. I'll just go and read the the, the source code for Play on Linux and I'll kind of do my own thing based on it, uh, which as very rarely happen to be honest. I mean I've never I I don't think at that. Uh, I've ever read like the source code for Play on Linux to write some uh, Lutris features. I've done that like for with Heroic. Mm -hmm. uh, that has happened like for like uh, getting Proton back. Um, but yeah, I've, I've read like some parts of the the, the Play on Linux source code, but wasn't like. I mean, sometimes it was useful, but never like to to port some features right. like. Yeah, I would say like the GOG Galaxy integrations were more, much more useful, but that was many, many years later. <laughs> uh, Play on Linux nowadays is a lot less... It, it gets a lot less attention. I know that it still is being worked on uh, just at a much slower rate, but I'm sure you also get a lot of comparisons with the Bottles project as well. I mean, Bottles came later. Yeah, no, it's fairly recent, um, but like yeah. nowadays, I'm sure you you get comparisons with uh, bottles. I'm very glad about that bottles. I mean, we have like uh, we're pretty close. Like I have a pretty close relationship with like the the bottles developers. Mm -hmm. I've noticed also. I was I've read some of the uh, the bottle source code, and I was like, oh wait, wait, I I wrote that. <laughs> that's some code that's from Rutris. Mm -hmm. So I was like, okay, that's cool. Um, uh, yeah, it's always cool to have like some open source project that's uh, kind of like reuses some some idea and not like those things like from from scratch. Mm -hmm. um, and and in in a way, uh, bottles is the software that a lot of people have asked me to write. Right. And I didn't want to write. Mm -hmm. So bottles is like wine only. And it's like kind of this, I mean, people have always been asking for a wine prefix manager. Mm -hmm. And I mean, it was never clear to me like what that meant because mm -hmm. I mean, you can or like sort of manage your wine prefixes with uh, Lutris, but it's not not like the, the forefront, mm -hmm. it's like not the main uh, goal of um, of Lutris is not to to tinker with your wine uh, prefix, is to get the game running as fast as possible and keep it that way and not have to to, to go into the settings at all. Mm -hmm. um, so bottles take this kind of different approach, which I'm very glad they did. So that if someone tells me, "Oh, can you write a wine prefix manager?" I just tell them, "No, just use bottles. It's here for that." Mm -hmm. So yeah, I'm I'm pretty glad that I can just redirect people uh, to that software instead of having to 
to maybe have to write some new stuff that I wouldn't want to. So what were they meaning by wine prefix manager then? Like what, um, what would that actually entail? I'm not sure at all. I mean, maybe a way to create wine prefixes in it, without the concept of a game, mm -hmm. like having a little button with like create prefix in some location, like, and then you add your game inside. Uh, I mean, I, like, there's a lot of options in bottles. I mean, a lot of things that um, Lutris can't do. So I'm guessing that's all of this. That's, but ma managing a prefix is like pr a pretty broad term. So it's not really. I'm not really sure myself what they mean by by that. Mm -hmm. I've always had like enough functionality in Lutris to do whatever I needed to do in, in with wine prefixes. Mm -hmm.